E.T. Final Score is brought to you by Ashley Furniture. Telegraph. We are in front of Varsity Place Apartments where there has been yet another shooting. Now police are inside the complex right now working the scene. We have been told by police there is a shoot, uh, there is a victim. Uh, they do not know at this time where the victim has been transported because they believe the victim was taken from the scene in a private vehicle. Don Martin, uh, who is a public information officer with the police department, is expected to come out here shortly and give us some updated information as to if there's one victim, two victims, uh, if they have a shooter in custody, uh, or, or what the investigation is showing at this time. We received a 911 call uh, around 9.30 this morning at 3400 Varsity in reference to a shooting. When officers arrived on the scene, uh, they talked to the person that was involved in the shooting. Uh, we're, we're basically talking about a 19-year-old black male uh, stated he was in his apartment. He had uh, contact with the person that was shot prior to the shooting in his apartment. Uh, that person had came back to the apartment uh, and he felt the person living in there, the 19 year old, thought he was gonna be robbed by this person. He did observe a gun according to him. Uh, he had a gun, the apartment owner, so he shot him. Uh, right now we're, we're looking for the person that did get shot. We did follow a blood trail from outside the apartment. The, uh, the person that did the shooting lived upstairs um, and we followed the blood trail from building number 8 uh, down to building number 21. We do believe that drugs are related by, by what has been said, um, so we're looking into that and we're talking to other people that uh, may have witnessed anything to see if there's any stories that are different from what we're being told. So at this point in time, we have notified area hospitals uh, to be on the lookout for a, uh, a shooting victim uh, to again determine if we can locate him and then get another side of the story of maybe something else had happened. Don, so. this is just another incident here in the recent uh, rash of incidents here between Varsity Place and Cambridge. Uh, was it earlier this week there was another robbery here where a suspect uh, or a victim was beaten pretty badly? Correct. Uh, is there any connection to that earlier robbery, do we know? Or? Well, we have not located the suspects in that robbery, so I don't know if there's any connection this time. We certainly will look at that and see if there is. Uh, it could be totally unrelated, or there could be some connection to, uh, you know, persons involved. Did he indicate where he was shot and what kind of handgun? Uh, it, it was a handgun. Uh, he was shot uh, somewhere mid-torso. I've been living here since uh, 2010. 2010? Yes, sir. Uh, and up until a few months ago, how was it? It was nice. I mean, I like Varsity Place, yeah. but... Uh, now, what, what, what's, your, what's, what's going on now? It's crazy. I mean, you know, robbery, shootings, it's, it's crazy. Are you scared for your personal safety now? Or? Yeah, I mean, you know, walking, like, I don't know, it's crazy, man. The past few days, man, it's been crazy. I, I, I can't explain it. Yeah. I can't explain it. You go to UT Tyler? or uh, uh, No, I go to Jarvis Christian College okay, up in Jarvis? Hawkins. Yes, okay. yes, sir. And uh, so you live here and you go to Jarvis? Yes, yes, sir. And uh, have you given any thought here lately about maybe finding another place to live? Uh, yeah, in December, I'm going back to California. That's where, I, that's, where, that's where I'm from, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's time for me to head back. Right. So you're kind of worried about today's events? Uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. I did not take a nap, then you, I find out. That's, that's crazy. 